Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Uh, this is another one of my G.I. Joe videos. Um, from If you've seen from my previous videos, there was a, a great collection that I bought at a, a swap meet. So what I'm going to try to do in this video is I'm going to try to put uh, one of these figures together. Uh, this figure is by, uh, goes by the name of Copperhead. Uh, I was a little bit sad to discover that he actually came uh, with a vehicle. Uh, I think the name of the vehicle was the Water Moccasin. So I would much rather them to be together either in my, my ownership or whoever has a vehicle now if it's not junked. I would prefer for that figure to be with them. Uh, I want to give a quick shout out to Kaplan Gray. Uh, he, res he replied to uh, my previous two G.I. Joe videos and I appreciate the feedback and the advice. Uh, Kaplan pointed out that uh, this figure right here is Zartan. The legs that you see here do not belong to him. Uh, Kaplan, I don't know how you noticed that. Uh, good eye and I appreciate you letting me know because this is actually the the, the figure that I was going to put together in this video and uh, I would have been pretty embarrassed if I didn't put them, correct, put them together correctly. Uh, so let's try to put uh, Copperhead together. This is the first time I do this as I'm recording, so please bear with me. I might struggle a little bit. And of course, if uh, you have any tips, techniques, or anything that you want to share, of course, please reply. Any help would be great. So I have my replacement rubber band. And um, first thing I need to do is remove the screw that's in the back of the figure. Okay. I'll try real hard not to lose that. And let's see here. Okay. Okay. I can already tell that this is going to be a little bit tough for me to do it on video, but I'll give it a shot. All right. Uh, I'm trying to remember how I did it with one of the other figures off camera. So I think I did something like this. Now this tool that I, that I got, I don't know if it'll help out, but uh, it's some type of knitting tool. And uh, okay. So let's try to put the waist through here and kind of try to pull it through. There we go. Okay, that's not too bad. Okay, so... Okay, so we got the legs and the waist together. So what should I do here now? Let's see. This is the back part of the figure. Okay, so maybe I can pull it over the peg part. Okay, let's see. Okay, and what I'm going to try to do, since most of the most of the torso is intact, I'm going to try to just hover over it. Great, that didn't work. Okay, there we go. I'm going to try to hover over it like that and just try to slam it down a little bit. No, I'm struggling too much. Actually, I think it got it. What's wrong here? Something's not right. Okay. Okay, it's pinching on the rubber band a little bit. There we go. Perfect. No. Okay, I don't want to undo this whole thing. Okay, there we go. Now we're good. So the only issue is with the arm. I don't want to take the whole thing apart, so what I'll do is I'll just wedge this open a little bit and see if we could get that arm in there without having the rest of the figure fall apart and it's in there okay cool okay I'm not having such a hard time and let's see here 
So just replace the screw, tighten it back in there, not too much, not too little though, so it's nice and snug. That's about it. And there we go. We have Copperhead. And this figure is actually complete from what I saw on Jojo.com. He did not come with any, any weapon. But, like I mentioned, he did come with a full vehicle. Alrighty, so, again, thank you so much, Captain Gray, for your information. I really do appreciate it. Please keep tuning in, everyone else who's watching also. Um, you know, hit like and subscribe. I have more videos like this. If you like this one, we have more to come. Alrighty, thank you so much.